Big time, fellas. Big time right here. I'm about to blow up and give these people a show. Who's ready? Come on, who's ready? Woo! Well, he's about to let them go into this game. And all he wants is a killer attitude, that killer instinct from everybody in that huddle. It's an all-Western Conference matchup in today's game as the Clippers come into town for this one. Happy holidays, everyone, from all of us at 2K Sports. And do we have a present for you today? This is Kevin Harlan, and here with me tonight, Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and Doris Burke reporting from the sideline. And now a quick check of our starting lineups for both teams. One of the guys we're watching out for today, the prodigy. And what he can do with the ball in his hands borders on miraculously ridiculous sometimes. He's broken a few ankles in his day, that's for sure. After this game, the Rockets head back out on the road. They've really been on a roll. They've gone five and one in their last six games. And you know, Houston, most of the preseason predictions were right on the money when it came to them. I mean, a playoff contender, but not necessarily championship caliber. I would not write them off completely in terms of the title picture just yet. Still a lot of basketball to be played. Now, here is Humphreys. Williams kicks to Lopez. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. And his free throws are falling at a rate of only about 72% on the season. Not terrible, but listen, you obviously would expect him to do better. That free throw, no good. He hits the second from the line. For the Houston Rockets, they won their last contest in that game against Los Angeles. You know, they played well enough to win, but to be honest with you, I just felt like their opponent's defensive performance was shaky at best. Yeah, I'd go along with that, Greg. I mean, the game wasn't handed to them, but they definitely didn't have to work as hard for it as they should have. Doris Burke has some information for us, Doris. A short time ago, Mike D'Antoni and I were able to catch up. This is their first matchup of the season against the squad, and he knows the shot blocking in the middle will certainly be an obstacle. But he said, quote, we've got to remain aggressive and continue to attack. Guys, he said that putting their bigs in high pick and rolls and shooting the open jumper with confidence will be key. We'll see how they do. And Doris, as always, thanks. And guys, do you agree with Coach's game plan here, given how tough the D is that they're going to go up against? Uh, I really do. I think they're such a hard team to generate offense against. That, that has to be where they devote most of their attention. Well, as long as it doesn't come at the expense of their own defense, fellas. I mean, they can't concentrate so intensely on offense they forget to defend he was the first one to react to that miss excellent anticipation on his part a hustle play on the putback by him Williams against Paul right side Gordon no good on the three the Los Angeles Clippers come into this one after the win against the Suns. And what a heck of a performance for them, particularly offensively. I mean, there were stretches of that game where everything seemed to be falling. Ball movement was superb, majestic. And they got good shots, and they made them. So it wasn't a surprise, but the ball movement was the key. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, I mean, a cold stretch offensively. They desperately need a basket. Harden dishes to Paul. Back to Harden. Another miss by Harden. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that one. Gallinari kicks to Humphreys. Harden against Williams. He dishes it to Emba Amute. Gordon. Right side, Gordon. Ball outside. Nail from three-point land. Paul's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. The Clippers in the lead. This, of course, their first opportunity to play Houston this season. Yeah, and they're hoping for a better showing against this club this season. Last year, they came out on the losing end. And, you know, with two teams in the upper pyramid in the early going, important to establish that pecking order, especially within your conference. So this game is important. Al Paul following the three-point attempt by DeAndre Jordan. Back to Harden. Six to shoot. 
That ties it up. Harden's got his first bucket of the night. You know, he'll make you scratch your head and throw your hands up as a defender. I mean, you just don't know how to play. On the wing, Williams, defended by Paul. Here's Lopez. The shot no good. Some solid defense there by Nene. Houston's gone one of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. The three from Harden, and again it's the Rocks from deep. That's a layup for him. He's just too open. Clippers trailed by three. Williams passes to Lopez. To halt the run. It's good. Great play by Williams to set it up. There's 154 left here in the first quarter. Paul against Williams. Paul dishes to Gordon. Three-pointer. And he gets it to go. Gordon's got five minutes. What are they thinking leaving him with all that space out there? Do they not know? Harden with it. Williams picks him up. Harden the pass to Chi. Dishes it to Anderson. Ball outside. Feeds the heart. Six on the shot clock. Pulls it from the elbow. Passes it to Onoaku. Paul. The dish now to Harden. Back to Paul. Kicks it out to Harden. Another shot. And that one barely misses as he draws contact. Two free throws coming up. And another one of his really special talents is coming up with steals at the moment the ball handler picks up his dribble and is getting into a shooting motion. He's got excellent timing in that regard. He doesn't get the second one. Well, he did enough there. He made it a two-possession game, at least. So for the Clippers right now, Williams in at point guard. Rivers out there with Chandler Parsons, and it's Mark Gasol, and it's Lopez in at the five, down low. Williams gets the bucket. Not trying to rattle any rims or racks there. Just up and in with the finger roll. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Doris Burke. Hey, Doris. Hi, Kevin. The prodigy in their last time out against the Suns was superb. He ended with 31 points, and he did some work at the line, drawing a lot of fouls and knocking down the free throw. This was just the game he needed to snap the cold spell he was in. That has to be a major relief for his team, guys. Appreciate it, Doris. Thanks. Well, we've seen a lot of great players have a lot of great games, but that was something special. And I love that no matter what approach they tried against him, nothing worked. I mean, he was ready for everything. It makes you wonder what kind of defense they'll throw at him tonight. I mean, however they choose to play him, it's still going to take a special effort to keep him under control. Well, he won't miss many of those, especially with the defender not in the best of positions there. And it goes as the official calls the foul. Count it. He'll shoot one more at the free throw line. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Rockets. Well, I tell you what, they must have had a good shoot around because they've been fantastic from long range so far, fellas. And, and the other thing that's been equally as effective is the fact that they've gotten out on the fast break. A lot of points coming in transition. Catching up on the changes for Los Angeles. Ian Kelly, he's checked in for Chandler Parsons. And Bahamute comes in for Rivers. And DeAndre Jordan subbed in for Mark Gasol. Jordan kicks to Anderson. It's good from long range. Anderson's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. And they continue to add to their lead. They might be ready to pull away. No surprise from my end. I mean, they've been really good, and they're looking even better at this moment. Again, the miss by Williams. Yeah, but the hand in the face. It's critical that you contest his shots every time down the floor. And you can see the defenders afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. Clippers moving the ball around. 
Gallinari with it. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Shot's good by Williams. You, you, how can you forget about him? I mean, he's not going to miss that open of a look. Paul against Williams. Gordon dishes to Emba Amuta. Paul for three. Paul missing again. Not able to find it here in the second. He's off stride and off track just a bit after that one he had early. Here's Williams. Good on the baseline, Jay. And now just a five-point rocket lead. 43 seconds left to play in the first half. Here's Paul. He's coming off a 31-point game against the Lakers. And also defensively, he was really aggressive. I mean, matter of fact, he had four steals over the course of that game. And the Clippers making a change here. We've got 22 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Williams. Humphreys with the bucket. Whatever their plan was defensively that time, it, it didn't work. Not if it results in that shot. The drive by Paul. A strong finish under heavy pressure all over. Paul's got five points now in the quarter. Eight seconds left in the second quarter. There's Williams with the three. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that has been very close so far. Rockets lead by five. We're going to step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after our halftime. everybody the start of the second half getting underway both teams battling hard through the first half you look at the game so far for hard 10 points and he's put one three-pointer on the board you know what though Clark it wouldn't be a bad idea going forward to try to let him do a little more damage from beyond the arc well we've got a moment let's set the floor brought to you by Gatorade all fueled up for the second half so on the floor for Houston we've got Gordon then it's Nene in at the center Gallinari kicks to Williams. Down to five on the shot clock. Let's it go from 14. Williams can't get it to go. Houston leading by five. On the wing, Harden launches a three, and that one's good. Harden's got the first points of the second half here for the Rockets. And Los Angeles guys uh, shooting under 40% all in all for the game. Here's Williams. Here's Humphreys. Good. Humphreys has got eight points. Well, they certainly didn't have much of a problem getting the ball into the post that time. Yeah, and, and that's important because this game may ultimately come down to which team controls the paint in crunch time. Gordon, Dolinar recovering. Gordon, the pass to Paul. Back to Gordon. The three. And it's Humphreys with the rebound. You know, even though he missed that one, great shooters have a way of feeling when they've got enough room to pull the trigger. There's no doubt about it. The defense, you can see him exhaling right now. Fortunate that he didn't knock that one down. Kevin, let's see how the Clippers have performed over the last few weeks. Second in fewest turnovers per game. Eighth in rebound. And they're in the top half of the league distributing the basketball as well. Not too shabby. Room for improvement, but acceptable. And you got to love how well they safeguard their offensive possessions. You see the ranking. Second fewest turnovers committed. Terrific ball handling and smart passes. And there's the pass to Mbamuta. He kicks it to Hart. Oh. 
using his post move to get the two points. Harden's got 15 points. And let's take this opportunity to show you the shooting guards with the highest percentage from the floor over the last month. Two minutes into the second half of play now. Clippers trail by eight. Pass to Humphreys. The basket is good off the assist from Williams. He's got 10. You know, if you're only looking at the way he's played offensively, you think his team would have the lead. It's Harden with the drive. Ball right side. Back to Harden. Pocket six. Carries it from three-point range. Harden's got eight points in the quarter. That gives him his second three of the half with three total for the game. Williams against Paul. And two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. You know, I love how he absorbs the foul and still had a chance to knock that one down. Boy, terrific play there. I thought even with all the contact, he still was going to get that shot to go down. The first one falls. Wesley Johnson's checked in for DeAndre Jordan. And both free throws good for Williams. And at the line, it's all about consistency with him. His routine, his stroke, it never wavers. Kicks to Gordon. Lends it go with a three. And again, it's the Rockets from deep. And they clearly are just destroying this group right now from the three-point line. Yeah, and the defense knows it. I mean, they are fully stretched out trying to stop the three-point shot and still haven't been able to do it. Here's Williams. Cans the shot from the wing. Williams has got ten. Here's Gordon. Eight points for him. Little under two and a half minutes off the clock now here in the third. And Baamute dishes to Harden. Harden draws the double. He passes to Gordon. Back to Harden. And another three for Houston. These defenders are putting up very little resistance to the three-point shot. And it's killing four of the last five makes coming from long range. Pass to Humphreys. It's hauled in by Gordon. Gordon's got his third rebound tonight. And blocked. And out of bounds as Los Angeles gains possession. Now we get a chance to check out the standings out west. Already we're in December. You take a look at Los Angeles. They're sitting pretty second place and looking to take the top spot. And, of course, the Rockets. A few slots below them. You know, for Los Angeles, they had plenty of doubters before the season started, but I can't imagine there's anybody out there that's taking them lightly anymore. There better not be. I mean, if anybody still is doing that, they, they haven't been watching this group play. I mean, this is a dangerous team. And the Clippers making a change here. One fifty-eight left to play in the third. Pass to Teodosi. Sinks the triple. He has seven. One forty-four left here in the third quarter. Harden kicks it to Tuck. Outside Gordon tried to come right back with the three of his own, and it's no good. Zero. A three-pointer off the mark. Rockets leading by eight. The feed to Capella. And out of bounds as the Clippers gain possession. And a chance to check out some stats for Gordon. He showed up every night and some noteworthy performances over the last month. Second and three-point field goal percentage. And he's in the top ten in field goal percentage. Really able to power his way to the bucket and finish through contact. And back to your point, I mean, a lot of his effectiveness has to do with mental toughness. It's just hard to force him out of his comfort zone. Rockets have gone five of nine on field goal attempts since halftime. Harden kicks it to Tucker. He feeds it to Gordon. Shot from 12. 
and he tries off the glass, but it's no good. You know, he's been off his game this quarter just a bit. Hasn't been able to get a whole lot to go so far. And here's Humphreys from 13 feet. It goes down. They got on this roll a while ago, and they just haven't looked back. Houston's gone four or six from three-point land since the start of the second half. Gordon kicks to Capella. Back to Gordon. And he hits the jumper for two. Gordon's got ten. Two-second difference between shot clock and game clock. The pass to Teodosic. Back to Williams. He dishes it to Gallinari. Feeds it to Williams. Shot clock at six. Goes up on the wing. And the shot falls short this time. Here's Harden. No good. And we've watched three so far in this one. Houston on top, up five. And do not go away as we'll be back in just a few moments with the start of our fourth quarter coming up next. Friday, December 23rd, the Los Angeles Clippers go up against the Memphis Grizzlies. Don't miss it. Got a great game on our hands as we welcome you back. The fourth quarter of action getting started. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for Houston. So far, they've turned in a fantastic performance from the three-point line. It's been a weapon all game. And I also love the way they move the basketball. Their passing has been outstanding here in the second half. And on the floor for the Clippers here in the fourth, Williams. He's in a point guard. Luke Mbamute out there with Ryan Kelly, and it's Rivers, and it's Williams at the two guard spot. That's good from Humphreys. Humphreys hits them both. Oh, a perfect half at the free throw line for them. That'll help their comeback effort for real. And Clark, those free throws helping them to just stay close. It's Harden with the drive. And here's Gordon from outside. And no luck. And the Clippers will go the other way with it. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebounding advantage is starting to add up. Yeah, still close, but with their tough play on the boards, we're certainly seeing the effort. Williams and the layup's good off the glass. I tell you what, you don't want to allow too many of those kinds of baskets with the game on the line. This is when the defenders really have to protect the basket. You need to be in sync as a unit defensively. He's been a different guy here in the second half. His shooting percentage far better than it was before the break. Dishes to Williams. few possessions into the fourth quarter just over a minute played here's Williams a finger roll finish at the bucket Williams has got four this quarter took advantage of some shoddy defense there they've got to at least get a finger on Gordon against Williams Tucker the pass to Gordon Harden outside the feather touch on the finger roll. Beautiful. Harden's got 15 points in just the second half. Clippers trailed by three. The dish to Gallinari. Second minute off the clock now in the fourth. Williams kicks to Williams. Pass to Humphreys. Some solid defense there by Nene. Pass to Harden. Harden left side. Into Nene. It's good. The assist that time from...
Harden. Harden's got three assists in the game. For Los Angeles, they've gone two or three from the field to get the fourth quarter start. Williams dishes to Williams. He kicks it to Rivers. Back to Williams. He passes to Rivers. Some nice ball movement by the Clippers. Misses the three. Houston leading by five. Renee setting the pick for Harden. Kicks it out to Gordon. From the arc. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Humphreys has got six rebounds in the game. Williams inside. Guarded by Harden. Stolen by Harden. On the wing, Gordon. Into Nene. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. At the line for your Rockets. At the line for two. And that one falls for Nene. Los Angeles making a switch here. And so Nene nails both of them. Clippers trail by seven. Williams up on top, defended by Paul. And it's Williams again missing. Houston's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Taken away by Williams. Now the Clippers moving it up. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. And Steve, we've also heard people point out how many minutes he plays, which is large. I mean, even more impressive to me isn't simply that he plays those big minutes, it's that he does it. Full speed, 100% of the time. What a clutch performer. He loves being in these situations. Just relishes the opportunity. A lot of guys say they do, but you can see it in his face. He truly does. Outside, Gordon. Paul, right side. Taken away by Williams. And pushing it up. Here's the Clippers. A nice shot by Gallinari. Now, just a two-point rocket lead. And really just straight to the basket with a full head of steam. Well, if you're going to throw it down, make sure you throw it down with four. And I think Doris Burke has something for us right now. Doris? Hey, Kevin, I was able to hear the advice Mike D'Antoni gave to his team during that break. We can't let up now. If we stay and make a few plays, we'll be right back in it. His message was clear. Stay the course, Kevin. And Bamute inside. Humphreys there. Here's Nene. That falls. Great assist by Bobby Brown. And it's six points for Nene. And he found a soft spot in the D on that possession. Clippers trailed by four. Aye! It's Williams with the drive. Rockets with the rebound. And that's the shot he has to take. Exactly. That's the right look. The decision was good. He just didn't execute. Harden the pass to Nene. Lopez with the steal. Outside Williams. And that one goes long. And another miss. Ooh. He's having a really ugly game. Yeah, about as ugly as you can have. You're right. They're straying away from the three-point game here in the second half. That's fine as long as they're on the lead and they're getting good shots. They decided not to take nearly as many three-pointers in this half. Outside Williams. Shoots off the step back. Money! And now they trail by just four. 58 seconds left in the game. Williams against Harden. Kicks it to Gordon. Back to Harden. With the lead pass. 
Well, one of his issues is he's a player that just does not excel at fighting through contact on his way to the rim. Here's Williams. Buries it. And he has brought them to within two points. Those are huge points. Beyond huge, partner. I mean, they needed that bucket desperately. Seven second difference, shot in game clock. Ball kicks to Emba Amute. Humphreys with the steal. Still a chance here, but they need to score. I really agree, but it has to happen on every possession. They need points every trip. Timeout call the Rockets. A score not in 63. 12 seconds left in the fourth quarter. against Williams. Harden dishes to Nene. It, it really does make the game easy for your teammates when you can lead them to the rim that well with the pass. <laughs> Williams for three. Oh, he got it! Oh! Knock it down oh. right at the horn. Oh, oh. and he wins it at the buzzer. <laughs> wow, what a finish. What a remarkable way to close it out. Game time. So it's the Clippers taking the win in a close one. They break the hearts of every fan in the building with a dramatic late victory. And, and Kevin, this is the kind of win you have to take a ton of pride in. I mean, they battled with everything they had and came through when the pressure was at its highest. And that'll do it, folks. For Clark Kellogg, Craig Anthony, and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for tuning in as Jordan presents our player of the game, The Prodigy.